My name is Jazz and I am a transgender girl who was lucky enough to be born in a time where the world was evolving and people were becoming more accepting towards individuals like myself. History books are filled with heroes, but if we want to learn about LGBT heroes, there are not a lot of history books that include them. So a group of young people went straight to the source and spoke with older people to learn about how different it was for them when they came out in the 1950s through the 1980s. I was born a little boy. I knew at a very young age that I was different. My family knew. It was just that it was never discussed. My own coming out process was in the faith community. I, I, I preached sermons myself that began to be on the borderline condemning gay people. So in the 50s, there is a big sense of isolation. Oh, definitely, yeah. Society didn't want to know, and if it did know, found ways of punishing you. People were fired from their job. People were put in mental institutions. People were given electric shock treatment. Any literature really indicated that gays were insane and often ended up killing ourselves. The police were busy, busy raiding primarily the gay men's bars. Back then, just being out, you were an activist. Through their stories, we see the bridge that connects each generation of activists who created and continue to shape the LGBT experience in America. When did the gay community switch from being sort of ashamed of itself to being out and proud. We had a message with Stonewall that we were not going to put up with it. And that means fight. Screw you. You know what? We have a right to be who we are, too. We now had to take ourselves seriously. I became an HIV educator. I became an activist. Coming out is still not necessarily easy in the new millennium. And as every LGBT person comes out, the needle moves a little further, and another chapter of history is written. And that's why the effort to get people to say who they are and come out is so very important. To step out into the parade, to not let it just go by, because the world is gonna keep going, so you might as well have a say in how it goes.